hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're here and you know it's another foundation friday so we're gonna go ahead and try out test out wear test a new foundation or new to me foundation so if you want to see you know what foundation we try today you already know what to do keep on watching <laughs> Okay, so we are back and yeah, let's jump into that foundation that we're testing out today. I know I went crazy with the eyes, but today the eyes is not the focus or maybe it is. So you know, a look and now we're gonna jump into the foundation and the lucky winner today is the Earbrush Flawless Foundation. It stays all day and night from Charlotte Tilbury, right here. So I'm gonna read a little bit on your site about this foundation um so as we saw in the name it's it gives you like an airbrush flawless finish so you should look like you know you're airbrushed even if you're not on the beauty light so we'll see how that works when we're actually outside you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying okay so it says it's basically what makes it magic that's how you know they say this foundation is magic so this is let's let's put this up it says it's this is my next generation high performance foundation with soothing, pore blurring, airbrush effects. Infused with skincare ingredients to hydrate, protect, and the perfect look of your complexion for flawless, poreless looking skin. I like that. Poreless, flawless. So, yeah, so pretty much she goes over and tells the story, you know, and then there's 40. Four shades there's 44 shades in here so that's a pretty good shade range i think you know 44 shades that's kind of a lot and and i know we all have comes in like different skin tones she goes really light and really dark so like the shades look like so these are all the shades so that that's a pretty good shade range i think so it says it's anti-aging it has two percent Replexium to significantly reduce the appearance of wrinkles up by 22% after eight weeks of use. The same amount as in Charlotte's Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. It's hydrating. Um, I don't know. It's it's kind of like a, a semi or demi matte finish kind of like. So it's magic. So it's hydrating. It has a magic mousseltic. TM number one to boost hydration by up to plus 216 percent it's an anti-pollution which is the CT defense is a popular peptide that defends against urban pollution refreshing air cool for a long lasting feel to combat the effects of humidity and sweat so I guess it's kind of maybe not sweat proof but you know it helps it helps because this people will be saying their foundations are fret, um, sweat proof no we, we don't know so yeah so it comes with 30 milliliters that's kind of standard for foundation so let's give her a whirl why not right let's 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 go so let me shake this a little bit where's my foundation use this brush this is my 732 from Loxy oh just so I, f I don't forget I actually did not use a primer today. I just used the glow screen from Supergoop. It is just sunscreen pretty much. Um, I do that because I am going to be outside and I kind of want, you know, to protect my skin. So, yeah. And this is my perfect match. Like, perfect. Sometimes like on here because of the lights like it looks like it's sometimes it's light, but it's actually not see this just kind of blend in my skin So this is pretty like decent maybe like medium buildable to full coverage. I would say for this So here's the difference here's the side with foundation Just kind of bring this to my hair so here's this side with foundation and here's this side with no foundation so you can see all my freckles and stuff so let's go ahead and jump to the other side 
and then I'll give you guys like a close up when I'm done. I love this foundation. Try not to use it too often, you know, it's one of those things because this is also $44. So, yeah. I think she has a couple of other foundations. I know she has like a moisturizing, so more kind of like a skin tint thing. I don't know, I haven't had the best luck with skin tints, so I kind of stay shy away from those. Cause you, your girl need her full beat, full beat, full beat all the time. Actually, I do have just regular like skin tint, maybe for like mature skin. You know, people that just don't like, you know, a lot of foundation or maybe younger people too that don't you know want to wear because sometimes foundations can look cakey you know and we don't want that I'm just gonna put a little bit more and my preferred method is to apply my foundation with a brush but if you like sponges like that's fine too so yeah so this is how the foundation look I feel like this looks a little bit orange on camera and maybe a little bit darker than my um like you look at my chest but i can guarantee you in person you can see the difference but you can definitely see the difference not in person because i can see the difference on camera but it's fine okay so this is the look complete and i want to say like for right now i think i've been wearing my foundation maybe for like 30 minutes um everything else like lay really nice on there like the foundation is going and working like really nice but i only had it on for like 30 minutes so you know and i did use a lot of shower timbery stuff but this was the first time i'm doing that so you know to kind of see like hey does her product work with her own product you understand because if it doesn't then so yeah so i will do a check in with you guys later i can i'll do two check-ins and then i will kind of close out so I'll, by the time the end of the night i will be wearing that foundation for like seven eight hours so i think that will be you know a good wear test to see you know how everything is working out but for now everything looks good i don't have any kind of separation but i've only been wearing the foundation for 30 minutes if a foundation don't last for 30 minutes which i have used you know what are we doing so yeah so i'm gonna check in with you guys like but i'll be checking it outside so you guys can see you know so yeah so that's it for now we'll see you later hi guys so i'm here i'm doing my first check-in you know so you can see how the foundation look. i know the sun is like right in my eye but you know that's good we're doing a check-in let's do a close-up you know close up close up close up and that's me wearing this foundation for like about an hour so yeah still you know looks amazing so i'll do another check-in again around you know in a few more hours see you guys then Hi guys, so I'm here again, you know, just doing another check-in with you guys. Oh my god, this sun is like crazy. I'm trying to get like a good okay, right like right here. So this is how this looks. Put this on the side. I don't have any cakiness or anything yet. So like this sun is like weird though, like how it's hitting my face. I know I'm in like a parking lot of a restaurant, like this is crazy. But yeah, so I've been wearing the makeup for like two hours. I'll do a final check-in at the end of the night. Bye guys! Right. But it's... Uh -oh.
Vous voulez demander une bachata Je veux deux bachata tout de suite. Hi guys, so yeah, I know the lipstick looks crazy, but I'm doing another check-in on that foundation. I know, oh my god, my mouth looks so weird. And the foundation looks really good. Again, I feel like I have a little bit of separation here, but again, I'm wearing a mask. So yeah, so this is like 10 p.m. Central Time. And yeah, the foundation is holding them pretty well. I'll do another, well, it won't be any more check-in. I'll just, you know, kind of calm. To, um, I guess gonna close up my video when I get home under the lights and we can really take a look. So, yeah, so that's it for now, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys, so I'm back and I'm gonna do my final check-in, kind of, you know, my feedback on that um, foundation. So, let's take a look together. Why not, right? So let's look at the nose first, because that's usually where you can tell, you know, if that foundation is great or if there's gonna be some kind of issue with it. So let's look at the nose. I like my previous um, Friday foundation video. I do have some separation here. But I can't really blame that on the foundation on the foundation because I'm not sure if it's the actual foundation or if it's uh, me wearing a mask that kind of rub the foundation off here and then here because that's where I'm kind of missing the foundation which is where for the most part the mask you know sits when I have it on. Um, I had this foundation on for about seven hours, seven eight hours. So I feel like you know that we, that foundation did you know hold up for this long time because that is a long time to have foundation on if i'm just saying myself so yeah so I, my final thoughts on this whole you know foundation from charlotte tiburi is a thumbs up so that's good for this video don't forget to like subscribe join the family and you know what i'll see you on my next video bye guys mm -hmm.